Hello, I'm Sharon Phillips. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from 2 News Oklahoma. One person is dead and seven others injured, including two teens after a shooting at a Memorial Day festival in Taft late last night. The Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation, who is handling the case, says just after midnight there was an argument at the outdoor festival when gunfire erupted. OSBI says around 1,500 people were at the event. A suspect is now in custody after turning himself in. The Grand River Dam Authority Police Department is currently conducting a search of Grand Lake for a missing man. 48-year-old Troy Young of Bixby was last seen leaving Cedarport Marina and a 24-foot blue yellowfin boat at approximately 10.30 p.m. on Friday. The boat was found Saturday morning near the entrance of Ketchum Cove. GRDA police is asking any boaters in the area to be mindful of the search efforts, to stay well clear of its boats involved in the search, and that anyone who might have seen Young's boat Friday night or with any information that might prove helpful in this investigation and search efforts is asked to call the GRDA police at 918-256-0911. The news of the search on Grand Lake comes just one day after a man drowned near Silent Springs, Arkansas. Police responded when he jumped into the water to rescue his son after the boy jumped from the top of Flint Creek Dam. The boy was revived at the scene. The 42 year old was taken to the hospital where he was later pronounced dead. And Sharon, your latest 10 day forecast for Memorial Day. Still gusty winds upwards of 40 miles per hour. A lot of clouds mixed in with some sunshine coming in at 87. Maybe an isolated rain shower early in the morning once again. Breezy conditions on Tuesday with an increasing chance of showers and storms, especially later Tuesday night and especially to the north of Tulsa. Some of that activity could be strong to severe. Chance for strong to severe storms over the area on Wednesday. We're down to the 70s all the way through Friday and then back on up into the 80s. Low to the mid 80s for next weekend and still a pretty good chance of rain.